Hey everybody, you're watching Grab a Gear. I'm Jared. I'm Dan. And today, we're gonna go into the tool shed. That didn't work. I'm, I'm ashamed. Welcome inside the tool shed, guys. Now, here on Grab a Gear, we are always looking for things that would help you out. And the big thing that we noticed is everybody does tool reviews, but they do reviews on things that the normal consumer doesn't actually need. Am I right? Yeah, they go, they go through with a, a lot higher budget than, hey, I need that tool, let me go run and grab one real quick. So that's why we decided we're gonna do the tool shed. The tool shed is the everyday person's tools. So, what we did, this is just an example. We went and we bought tools from three stores. Harbor Freight, Walmart, and AutoZone. We're going to review every tool that they pretty much have. And we'll let you know which one is the best one for that budget. And let's be honest, it's a pretty low budget. Like, something that's cheap. I yeah, mean, it's pretty cheap. crazy cheap. So. Let's see what happens. Let's kick this episode off. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing something pretty cool. Hey everybody, I'm Jared. I'm Dan, and you're watching Tool Shed. That's right. And what we're gonna be doing today, guys, is testing basic, run-of-the-mill, all-purpose drill bits. We got Harbor Freight Warrior brand, and we have Hyper Tough from Walmart 10-piece um, drill set. They're all meant for metal, wood, and plastic. So we're gonna be putting them through a couple tests. First one is going to be the uh, PVC. We're gonna be drilling, I don't know how many holes, a lot of holes. Then we're doing 20 uh, holes in the PVC, 10 holes in the wood, and then we'll, we have some aluminum flat stock we're gonna run through on the drill press and just uh, see how they hold up. Exactly. Um, to let you guys know on pricing real quick, Harbor Freight Warrior brand was $4.99 and Walmart was Four ninety-seven. Yeah, so right around five bucks for each one. Exactly. So, yeah, stick around. We'll see which one's best bang for your buck. All right, guys. Well, as you just saw, we did the PVC test with them, and very definitive winner. That was very definitive. Um, Harbor Freight bit was definitely a, a lot sharper out of the box, and I didn't have nearly as much wobble and walk when putting on the pipe there, drilling through it. Yeah, it just time alone uh, took a minute ten for the Harbor Freight one to cut through twenty holes. It took a minute fifty five. For the Walmart one, and it kept slipping. It walked all over the place. Cut horrible looking holes, to be honest with you. It so, just wasn't quite uh, quite as sharp. Yeah. So, but yeah. Now we'll move on to the wood test, guys. Okay, guys. So there we go. The uh, wood. You can see it. We have Walmart. Here on top, the Hyper Tough. We have Harbor Freight down here on bottom, which was the Warrior brand. Um, I personally couldn't tell the difference drilling it. It they both went in. They both honestly was horrible. They went, you know, super slow. They're just not wood bits. That's what it is. They're just multi-use bits. But overall, they did a good job. And we'll go on to the flat stock now. No, but what? Is he going now? You're good. I just want this out. Right. All 
All right, guys, you probably noticed we didn't actually get any footage of us drilling with the HyperTuff. We forgot to hit record. Sorry about that. Honest mistake. But we do have it right here, stuck in the aluminum, which is also a very soft metal. Yeah. It snapped in half. I want to say, wow, that's very sharp. Yeah. Just putting down about, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds of force on the drill press when we were pushing with them, and it literally just torqued on the bit and snapped in half. Yep. Where the other one you did see uh, went right through, no problem. Here it is still intact and still looks good. Honestly, it looks great. So we, overall for $5, like these Harbor Freight ones are yeah. a great do all for around the house. The only downside is you're getting seven of the same size for the same price. You get 10 of different sizes. So depends on sort of what the application is, but as far as a 3 16th, right? Yeah, 3 16th yeah. on the Warrior, yeah. <laughs> 3 16th on the Warrior and 3 16th on the Hyper Tough. I'm going to go with Harbor Freight. Oh, absolutely. The Harbor Freight bits, yeah. just, uh, they're just sharper out of the box anyways and just a little tougher. If you just I need agree. a random around the house stuff and a multi-pack where you're just going to be punching like drywall or some stuff in the wood, sure, whatever. Yeah. But for the same price for five bucks, just... If you know what size you need, the Harbor Freight one's the way to go. I agree. Totally agree. Well, there you guys go. Quick little insight on who has the better bang for your buck drill bits. Harbor Freight wins this one. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care.